Good morning, everybody. If you're new here, my name is Josh. I have been doing the Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, which is an online training-based platform from training a dog from start to finish to be ultimately becoming a fully trained duck dog. This is a do-it-yourself pigeon coop that I made. Ultimately, at some point in time, I'm going to be doing live bird training with Onyx. Before I actually do live bird intro, though, I actually purchased some of these. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. These are authentic mallard wings. Eventually, I will start Onyx with introduction to birds. And what I would do is I'll take one of these bird wings, I'll tie it to some fishing line. Eventually, these will become like a toy where when they're on the fishing pole, Onyx will just chase them around to help build up the drive and get her to get a feeling of not only what it's going to taste like in her mouth and getting her comfortable carrying objects such as duck wings. Um, so that's where this pigeon coop comes into play. I'm really excited about this step and this process. I have no formal training or construction background when it comes to framing or building or anything like that. Probably like the average person, I'm an electrician by trade now. And so this is just kind of what I came up with. So I'll show you what I got. Now this entire build was like a do it yourself build. Actually the only thing that I paid for myself was the hardware, some screws and the two by fours that are in the front. Everything else was 100% recycled. So starting in the bottom, I took these long boards right here there's four that go all the way around and I actually just took a pallet and framed around that and set the pallet on top and connected the pallet to the bottom frame inside You'll see in the bottom that it's just chicken wire and a little bit of wood. The reason why I specifically did that is so when the bird's droppings fall, they'll fall to the ground and I can easily spray it with a hose and shovel it up later, put it in the trash and you're done. Now you'll also notice that I have these slits that go all the way around. There's actually three of them, one on the bottom, one in the middle and one at the top. And the reason why I did that is to create slits. When the dogs come over here, they're not gonna eat the bird's poop. Now before getting to the front, what I've done is I've taken another pallet on the corner here put one on the side I went ahead and put one on this side and one in the back and that just became my walls that went all the way around now when it comes to doing the front I took some two by fours and went all the way around from the top to the bottom and created a front structure put it this way so that I would have room to make a door I actually had no idea how to make a door I just came up with it to be honest I connected everything all the way around so whether that meant I toenailed the wood screws to each individual place everything is completely 100% secure and this thing does not move. Now obviously you'll see right here I have a gap. I actually decided to pitch the roof a little bit and how I did this I took two by fours and made them the same length. These were like 20 inches long right here and I had them go up on each side and then in the rear I did those three inches lower. What that would do is it would pitch those boards like that and then I took a runner to go on each side for the roof and it gave it a small little pitch so if there's rain you know debris falls on it ultimately it's just gonna wash away. And here is the roof. Not bad for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. There is a little bit of insulation that is underneath here. And I just took the shingles and set the back pieces on first and then overlapped them with the front ones. This is going to be a landing platform for them that when I have trained them to home um, and come back to the coop, this will be able to stay open and be able to go in and out of their coop. Um, that is just a little design I came up with, some aircraft cable to just kind of hold it in place. And then I just got some simple hardware locks that were like five bucks a piece. And bada bing, bada boom, you have yourself a little landing platform for the birds to eventually go in and out of. Now, as you come inside here, I took the chicken wire and placed it all the way around where it's screwed into every part, not allowing the birds to escape or anything to be able to get in here. All the paint buckets are nests. And then I actually purchased these little nests from Amazon that were like $15. Um, one thing that I haven't put in here yet since I don't have birds is the feeders. The feeders will just sit on the ground here. I ordered a five gallon galvanized water for them. So what is this coop for? I am going 
going to trap birds. I'll show you my trap. I have it set. Use them for positive reinforcement type training when it comes to onyx, but it's the safest way and most practical way when you're training a duck dog is to use pigeons. I'm sure that you've seen on different other YouTube channels is I will teach them to home. So in the end, in total of building this coop, not including any of the amenities that like I purchased myself when it comes to the galvanized water, uh, these little nestings inside there and the feeding trays, only about $60. It's not a bad idea when you're wanting to train duck dogs and wanting to do so in a safe and practical way if you don't have birds of your own and have a nice little area for them to call their home. Now the cool thing is I have two empty lots. One is going to be right back here and the other one is going to be right there. And in those two empty lots, I always get pigeons. I just got my trap in yesterday. I have put it out. So let me take you over and kind of show you the trap setup that I have. We got the little trap set up. So in the trap, I got a little water source right there with some food. Got some food in the front, fruit on the sides and food in there. So what the birds will do is they'll come in here, go through the trap door. The door will close and they won't be able to get out. If you're trapping pigeons, taking pigeons, anything like that, um, it's not illegal to possess them in certain states. So you definitely need to check your state and county regulations and see if this is something that you can do. Uh, where I live, the specific pigeons that are in this area are not illegal to possess. When it comes to the trap though, it's only been there for like less than 24 hours. I've seen birds come here quite a bit, uh, but it's on and off. I'm gonna leave the trap out for a good three or four days and just kind of see if I get any hits. If not, then I will move it to that area. If you have a duck dog, if you're interested in duck dog training, you can easily do this yourself and not have to hire a professional dog trainer to take your dog to, to expose your dogs to live birds. You could simply just do it at your house for very cheap and it ultimately being very very efficient. Hopefully this video kind of gave you an idea of what it's like to do it yourself pigeon coop for duck dog dog training. Now even though I follow the Cornerstone Gun Dog Training Academy's platform I am also a member of the Freddie King membership which is the retrievertrainer.com. A lot of good information, a lot of videos on how he trains dogs when it comes to introduction to live birds. So I would definitely encourage you to do that as well. I hope that you guys got some information, ideas, value out of this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, maybe leave a comment how you're training your duck dog with live birds. Hope you guys have a wonderful week, great day, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.